When the crew of Fury found themselves at the crossroads, a tense silence enveloped the scene. The tank's immobilization by a landmine intensified the gravity of the situation. From their vulnerable position, they spotted a battalion of Waffen SS infantry marching ominously towards them. The marching song that echoed across the hill was none other than the infamous SS Marshard in Finder's Land or SS Marches in Enemy Territory. Its roots traced back to the Spanish Civil War, specifically the song of the Condor Legion, written by Wolfram Phillips and Christianieri. These two pilots, both with the rank of Oberleutnant, had crafted a melody that would later become the anthem of the elite Waffen-SS and would become a rhyme within Germany. The song's lyrics delve into the self-perceived elite status held by SS men, drawing inspiration from patriotic heroism and an unwavering commitment to a fight-to-the-death ethos that was prevalent in Nazi Germany. As the war unfolded, these lyrics underwent a metamorphosis, initially referencing the tumultuous shores of the Volga River in Russia, and later shifting focus to the intense battlegrounds along the Oder River on the German-Polish border, particularly during the tumultuous events of 1945. The lyrical evolution is not merely geographical, it mirrors the shifting tides of the war itself. Originally centered around the Eastern Front, where the German forces faced formidable challenges, the lyrics adapted to reflect the grim reality of the conflict. The mention of the Oder River signifies a poignant moment in the final stages of the war, with heavy fighting and significant historical events unfolding in that region. Notably, the lyrics make an overt declaration of the SS's mission to eradicate what they deemed the Red Plague. This ideological stance underscores the deeply rooted beliefs of the SS during that tumultuous period, encapsulating their fervent opposition to perceived threats and their unyielding commitment to a destructive cause. The metamorphosis of the song within the Waffen-SS echoes the unit's evolution into a complex, multi-ethnic force. The adaptation process was not merely linguistic, but also a cultural fusion, reflecting the diverse backgrounds of the SS men who embraced it. SS Division Charlemagne, comprised largely of French volunteers, resonated with a French version. adding a distinctive layer to the musical tapestry of the Waffen-SS. In Norway, the echoes of the anthem took on a Norse hue with the rendition Po Viking Talked. A testament to the adaptability of the song across linguistic borders. Meanwhile, in Estonia, SS Obersturmführer Hiller Erma and Bernhard Einborn introduced a version that went through various iterations. <laughs> Becoming a symbolic thread connecting the 5th SS Panzer Division Viking and the later 20th Waffen Grenadier Division of the SS, 1st Estonian. The diverse names, Pataljon Narvalaul, Istises Pataljon, Kord Vuitles Luna, Venemal. The lyrical narrative of the Estonian variant underwent dynamic shifts throughout the course of the war. Initially crafted exclusively for the men of the Estonian SS Volunteer Panzer Grenadier Battalion Narva and the 5th SS Panzer Division Viking, its purpose was to embody the collective spirit and aspirations of these particular units. However, the fluidity of war brought about alterations to the lyrics, reflecting the changing landscape of battle and the evolving composition of the Estonian SS forces. The verses Neville and Cherkasi were incorporated into the song, serving as poignant tributes to those who had fallen during crucial moments in the conflict. These additions extended the anthem's embrace to encompass the sacrifices made by members not only from the original units, but also from the 3rd Estonian SS Volunteer Brigade, particularly during the Battle of Neville and the intense clashes within the korsun pocket. In essence, the evolution of the Estonian variant's lyrics mirrors the adaptability of the song to accommodate the broader narrative of Estonia's involvement in the war. The inclusion of specific references to battles and fallen comrades expands the anthem's scope 
transforming it into a solemn ode that pays homage to the resilience and sacrifice of Estonian SS forces across various theaters of war. The song's journey transcended the boundaries of the Second World War, echoing across diverse military traditions and nationalities. Post-war, it found a new home in the ranks of the French Foreign Legion, where it persists to this day in a rendition titled La Légion Marche Vers le Front, featuring subtly altered and translated lyrics. This adaptation speaks to the enduring resonance of the anthem and its ability to integrate into different cultural and linguistic landscapes. Beyond Europe, the Brazilian Air Force adopted its own version, contributing to the song's global legacy. In Germany's Bundeswehr, the anthem took on a new identity as Grüne Teufel, Green Devil, becoming a spirited anthem for the German Fallschirmjäger Truppe, or Paratrooper Squad, with some modifications to the lyrics. This transformation reflects the capacity of music to evolve and adapt, shaping itself to fit the ethos of each military unit. Closer to its roots, the Estonian version experienced subtle alterations that persist in the contemporary military landscape. These modified lyrics continue to resonate within numerous units of the Kaitsevegi and among the dedicated volunteers of the Kaitselite, illustrating the enduring power of the anthem to forge a sense of identity and camaraderie among those who serve. In essence, the song's odyssey from wartime Germany to diverse military settings worldwide speaks to its ability to transcend temporal and geographical confines, weaving itself into the tapestry of various armed forces, each with its unique history and spirit. Thank you everyone for joining us on this fascinating journey through the intricate history of a song that echoes through the annals of time. From its origins in the tumultuous era of the Second World War, to its unexpected resonance across different continents and military traditions, this anthem has woven itself into the very fabric of history. If you found this exploration intriguing, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more deep dives into historical mysteries. Feel free to share your thoughts and comments below. And check our link below, let us know if you have encountered this song in any other unexpected corners of history. Anyway, we will see you guys soon.